Cobra's log, stardate 7492.1. We've arrived at the outskirts of the system where the cataract research station is located. Not sure what to expect after encountering Terrell's alterations to our outer defense post. My instincts tell me to be cautious. Our most recent intelligence places Terrell at the research station itself. Finally, to have her within our reach. With all the havoc she has wrought upon the Federation, one can only wonder what happened to her Vulcan senses. Starfleet Command is most insistent that Dr. Cataract and his research be saved. If I didn't know better, I'd almost say they place his well-being above that of his fellow researchers. In any case, I fully intend to take back what she has stolen. Whatever it takes to bring her destructive tendencies to an end, I'm prepared to do. Admiral Kirk, this is Captain Somerset. We're approaching the target area. Scans confirm the presence of the Salea near the station. My battle group is moving to intercept. We're right behind you, Somerset. Hold on. Admiral, something is wrong. Our shields are losing power fast. We've lost partial coverage. Correction, we've lost all shield power. We're hit. Secondary hull rupture. Decompression on multiple decks. We're losing her. It's too late. Somerset, come in. Sensor scan now. I want to know what the hell happened. Kirk to fleet. Our sensors are detecting several objects out there which seem to be emitting some kind of dampening field. As Captain Somerset's telemetry indicates, they appear to have a profound effect on our ship systems. They drain energy from local space and translate that into power for the cataract defense grid. Our tactical analysis indicates the dampeners are constructed of solid neutronium. Phasers and photons will have little effect against them. My science officer has found the subspace carrier wave amplitude these devices are using to transfer power back to the defense grid. We're going to attempt to send a feedback pulse on that carrier wave in an effort to overload the dampener. If we actively scan the device, we can match the carrier wave. If we're going to even get close to that station, we'll have to disable these dampeners. Kirk out. This is Enterprise. Warping to your coordinates. Shields are failing. We can't maintain power. That dampener is neutralizing our defenses. Let's take that thing offline. Scanning. Moving into attack position. Shields are coming back online. Though our sensors show the dampening field is down here, the cataract defense grid is still operational. Our analysis also indicates that the feedback pulse we generated will dissipate. After that, this dampener will reactivate. We'll have to move fast to overload the other dampeners before the pulse wears off and deactivate the defense grid in the process. Moving in for attack. going to get interesting. Photons locked on target, Captain. Captain, wait on vessels! Diverting power to weapons,
Captain Hall is going to be severely compromised. Proceeding to war. Warping to your coordinates. Warping to your coordinates. Playing on ship spotted. Setting course. Heading set. Engaging target. Engaging target. Proceeding to war. Initiate scan. Full power to weapons. Target shield is down. We've done it. All the dampeners have been overloaded, and their subspace linked to the defense grid has been severed. The station's defensive network has been neutralized. Set course for the Cataract Research Station, but stay tight and close. What in the name of... Ah, the legendary Admiral James Kirk. History seems to note you a special chapter. It would be a pity to end it so prematurely. Withdraw your forces and you may leave unharmed. What about the countless men and women who have died up to this point, trying to stop you from spreading your chaos over the whole of the quadrant? Ending of life is regrettable, but sometimes necessary on the road to perfection. I am on a higher path, one that will eventually bring us all into a state of peace and logic. I've heard this all before, Terrell. The road to hell, as they say, is paved with good intentions. But you're just a Vulcan whose delusions afford you the luxury of rationalizing murder. And I intend to stop you, right here, right now. Stand down, or we will destroy you. I believe you are mistaken. Omega now belongs to me, and you will witness the nature of its power. Goodbye, Admiral. I am most curious to see how your death will affect events yet to come. She's escaped. Enterprise to fleet. Weapons free. Concentrate your fire on that large vessel. Sensors are detecting smaller spheres linked to the larger one. They appear to have no offensive capabilities, but are working to augment the mothership's systems. Objective achieved. Noted in the law. Captain, it's the... Every scratch we put on that ship seems to be repaired within moments. At this rate, we'll never bring it out. My science officer believes he has identified the smaller sphere working to regenerate the larger ship's hull. All vessels target and destroy it. Excellent. That seems to have nullified the sphere's ability to regenerate. 
output is falling to normal sublight levels. Eliminating that smaller sphere has reduced the mothership's weapons capabilities significantly. We should have an easier time of it now. show a resonance cascade in that ship's power core. That energy reading is massive. What in blazes could they have been using to power that thing? All ships, get out of here. Maximum warp. That ship is going critical. Admiral's personal log supplemental. I failed. It was my charge to apprehend this woman who has been a destructive blight upon the Federation for the last hundred years. Torell has been with us since the founding of the Federation, and there's no telling how much longer she'll be out here. Her purpose unknown, and her power quite formidable. I fear for what she could do, given time. I've submitted my official report to Starfleet concerning the Keteract incident. After learning of his Omega Particle research, I suggested that the details be sealed and steps taken to assure this never happens again. Aside from the destructive power of a single molecule of Omega, it has destroyed subspace through a three light year radius around the Lantaru sector. With such potentially destructive power at Terrell's fingertips, I feel extremely uneasy. Starfleet has assigned a commission to develop an Omega directive concerning this eyes only matter. Sometimes the arrogance of man is what gets us into so much trouble. Hopefully, the next generation will be better. <laughs>